Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Second video on June 2025, paper 1 2. Question number 21 The photomicrograph shows a sample of blood vessels viewed through a light microscope. One you can see is red blood cells, and uh, two is uh, a neutrophil or a white blood cell, and three is the plasma. Which row shows the functions of the label parts of the blood? The answer is A because one, red blood cells transport oxygen, three, plasma transports hormones, and two, engulfing pathogens. Then 22, which row shows the type of pathogen that causes malaria and its method of transmission? So it is a protozoa that is sure, so C and D are wrong. So A is the answer, and insect is the transmission, is the vector which is going to transmit it from one person to another. Question number 23, a disease is caused by a bacterium that infects a small intestine producing a toxin. The toxin causes a osmotic movement of water from the cells into the small intestine producing diarrhea and extreme dehydration. Which disease is being described? Very simple. It had to be cholera, nothing else does that. That is one of your syllabus points. Which statements about immunity are correct? Memory cells are produced as a result of both active and passive immunity. No, memory cells are only produced in one immunity, not in both of them. Passive immunity, no memory cells are produced. Antibodies are made in response to antigens on the surface of pathogens or in vaccines. Each type of antibody has a, antibody has a chemical shape that is identical to that of the antigen to which it binds. So one is wrong. And uh, this is wrong, they're not identical, they're complementary. The antibody is a complementary to the antigen. So only two is correct, so the answer is D. Antibodies are made in response to antigens on the surface. This is a pathogen on the surface, you have an antigen. And then the antibody made by the lymphocytes is complementary to it. Question number 25, which letter shows where urea is produced? It had to be D because it's the liver. Urea is produced in the liver by the process of deamination where excess amino acids, the amino part is removed. Question number 26, which substance would not be present in the urine of a healthy person with a normal diet? Glucose. Whatever, if you're a normal person, nobody has glucose in their urine, except for people who are diabetics. Question number 27, which part of the eye contains the greatest density of light receptors? D, fovea. You see, retina is the part, but of course the fovea is where the density of the light receptors is the maximum. Which part of the eye? It's not cornea or the optic nerve or the iris. Is the fovea. Then coming to D part uh, 28th question, sorry. The diagram shows the front of an eye seen in cross section from above. Which di diagram shows the eye observing an object in the distance in dim light? Now, what is the mnemonic for this? Distance is less convex. Distant is less convex. Answer is B. You see, if it's looking at a distance, then the pupil is also large. So you see the pupil here is larger, here the pupil is smaller. When you're looking far off, then the pupil is also larger. So less convex and the pupil is also large in diameter. Question number 29. Different studies have shown that the movement of electrical impulses traveling along neurons slows down with age. Studies A, B, C, and D have published different results. The average speed of a nerve impulse in people are at 40, at 40 years old is 55 meters per second. The study showed the le which study showed the least reduction in transmission speed between the ages of 40 and 60? The speed reduced by an average of 0.14 meters per second per year. The speed reduced by 8.2 meters per second, reduced by 10% reduced by 10 meters per second. Well, this is the lowest. The others you can do a calculation and see that this was the lowest out of all of them. So that is why the answer is A. Then coming to number 30, the graph shows the concentration of glycogen stored in the liver of a human. This has come many times before as well. 
during which period of time is the secretion of adrenaline causing the blood glucose concentration to move towards its set point Now the concentration of glycogen stored in the liver, right? During which period is secretion of adrenaline causing the blood? You see here, glucagon is causing the glucose to return to its uh, move towards the set point. But the answer is B, because adrenaline works by it is moving it to its set point. It says during which period is the secretion of it, causing the blood glucose to move towards its set point. You see, in D also it is moving to its set point, but that's glucagon because the blood glucose went down. Here the glucose was high, but the adrenaline is now converting the glycogen to glucose. So it is converting it, so that is why its answer is B. Question number 31. The diagram shows one of the endocrine glands in the human body labeled X, which is the pituitary gland. Which hormone is produced by the endocrine gland X? Is the luteinizing hormone. FSH and LH are produced by the pituitary gland. Progesterone is produced by the ovary. Glucagon is produced by the pancreas. Adrenaline is produced by the adrenal glands. 32. Muscle cell from a horse contains 64 chromosomes. So this is the diploid number. How many chromosomes would there be in a sperm cell which is a male gamete from a horse? So it will have half. So 32. So that's why the answer is B. 33, the diagram shows the fruits of some plants. Which fruit uses wind to disperse its seeds? Which fruit uses wind to disperse its seeds? It has to be the dandelion. So the answer is A. This would of course stick. So this would be animal. This would be eaten by animals and the seeds dispersed. This would also be eaten by animals and the seed dispersed. Question number 34. Sperm cells are stored in a laboratory before they can be used in artificial insemination. Substances added to the sperm cell for storage have been shown to damage the acrosomes. This leads to reduction in fertility. Which statement describes why reduction in fertility may happen? The sperm cells are rejected by the egg cells. The sperm cells cannot penetrate the egg cell. The sperm cells cannot swim to the egg cells. The sperm cells cannot detect the egg cells. So the answer is B because the acrosome releases enzymes that helps in digestion of the outer layer of the egg cell. 35. The hormones that control the menstrual cycle are released in a varying amounts during the cycle. During pregnancy, menstruation is prevented and there are no eggs developed or released. What would be the levels of hormones FSH, LH and progesterone during pregnancy? FSH and LH would be nil because we don't really need any follicle to be stimulated. So the answer is B, low, low and progesterone will be high because that maintains the lining so that the fetus can embed and start to grow. It embeds into the lining of the uterus and there it starts to grow. Then is question number 36. Sickle cell anemia is caused by a recessive alley. A couple have two children. One of the child has sickle cell anemia. So that means this is the child. The parents and the other child do not have sickle cell anemia. So the parents are this. And the child could be this or this. But has to have the dominant available because this is the sufferer is small is small is recessive. The couple are expecting their third child. What is the probability that this child child will be male with sickle cell anemia? Oh, that's a very good question. Having a male is 50%. And having sickle cell anemia is 25%. AA into AA. Because the parents are not sufferers. So this, this, and this. So there is a 25% chance of having a sickle cell anemia child and because it is 50% of the 25% so it will be 12.5% so the answer is B because it will be 50% of the 25% 25% but then having a male is 50% so 50% of 
is 12.5 percent if it just said sickle cell anemia then it was 25 percent but if it said a male child because it said the third what is the probability this child will be a male and with sickle cell anemia then 37 each human gamete has one sex chromosome Question 37, each human gamete, each human gamete has one sex chromosome. Yes, that's right. Which statement is correct? All egg cells have an X chromosome, all egg cells have a Y chromosome, all sperm cells have an X chromosome, all sperm cells. Now that's wrong because you see the male is XY. So there are two types of sperms, one carrying the X chromosome and one carrying the Y chromosome. But because the female is XX, so the ovum is always X. Either it will be this X or it will be X, it will be, it can't be anything else. But the sperms are of two types, X and Y. So all sperm cells can't be X. All X cells can have an X chromosome. Yes, that's right. So A is the answer. Question number 38, what is a food chain? A diagram showing an organism getting its energy by feeding on another organism. A diagram showing an organism's diet. A diagram showing the flow of energy through a chain of organisms. A diagram showing the names of trophic levels. The answer is C. A diagram showing the flow of energy through a chain. So we have say tree, then we have an arrow and we have say caterpillar. And then we say, say uh, bird. We can't say bird, we must name it so we can say sparrow or parrot you must name it you cannot use the word bird that would be very uh, inappropriate you have to use a certain name so you can say a sparrow so what is it showing it is showing the flow of energy through an organisms through a chain of organisms then question number 39 soil that contains more water allows denitrifying bacteria to grow well what, which effects will be seen on the growth of plants in this soil? More nitrate ions are taken up, so plants grow less well. More nitrogen fixation, so plants grow taller. Denitrification results in nitrogen gas being taken up by the plants and they grow taller. There are fewer nitrate ions in the soil, so plants grow less well. You see, denitrifying bacteria are the enemies of farmers. And they convert the nitrate into nitrogen gas and that goes into the air and the plant can't use that. So that is why the answer is D. Denitrifying bacteria are bad. They only in waterlogged soils. They convert the nitrate ion which the plant can take up into nitrogen and oxygen and it goes into the air. So you need to revise the nitrogen cycle if you are not clear on this. Last question, question number 40. The statements describe the process of eutrophication which may happen after excess nitrogen fertilizers runs from feeds into streams. They are not in the correct order. Bacteria decay dead plants and use up oxygen. Animals die or leave the area. Light cannot reach aquatic plants. The growth rate of algae increases. Aquatic plants die. So what is the correct order for these statements? You see, when nitrates are washed into nitrate fertilizer, the first thing that happens is uh, the growth rate of algae increases. So it has to be four. And then it is three, the light cannot reach the aquatic plants. And then it is five, aquatic plants die. And then it's one, bacteria decay dead plants and use up the oxygen. Bacterial numbers increase. And so they use up the oxygen, that is called BOD, biochemical oxygen demand increases. More the BOD, more the pollution it is. And number two, animals die or they will leave the area. So the first thing that has to happen is that the nitrates result in excessive growth of algae. So number four had to be the first one, the rate or the growth rate of algae increases. That uh, finishes this paper. And thank you very much.